I'm a little rusty. I'll hum it for you. Good morning from Co Wrong. And welcome back to another episode. Emma and I got here around six last night. Cue the footage from yesterday. We're staying at a place called the Happy Elephant Bungalows and as you can see we're right at the top as always I'll do a little bit of a, a bungalow room tour we start from down here and we walk up here along this little walkway and up our private staircase we have a hammock and some chairs and table looking out onto the forests of Koh Rong. Morning Emma. Hello. It's not the most basic of bungalows but it is pretty simple. We've got a little lounge area. And there's a fine oh, the uh, oh, mosquito spray. Why does it hurt? As there are lots of bugs around. Yeah, it hurt me yesterday, it burned. And we have a fridge, which is lovely. Got our fan and then our bed with our mosquito net around it. This is what it looks like. And then we go to the bathroom area. We have our sink. We have running water. Just about running. And then we've got our toilet and shower nestled into the rock, which is pretty cool. It's similar to what was the second place in Pi? Can't remember. The second place in Pi we stayed, where the, the bathroom was outside. It's looking a little bit cloudy, so we're just gonna head down to the main area and get some breakfast and some coffee, and then do a bit of an explore. As when we arrived, it was dark, so we didn't actually get to see much. But yeah. Before we forget to say, um, when booking this place, we actually thought, I'll take the blame for this one. I thought that we were booking a place on the island of Koh Rong Samloam, I think is how you pronounce it. But we ended up booking it, paying for it, and then a day later, luckily we checked it, it turns out it was booked for, well, this place was on Koh Rong. So we've got four nights here on Koh Rong and then the plan is probably to head over to Koh Rong Samloam and then to an island called Koh Ta Kiev. Yeah, I guess we get to experience three different islands. I think of a lot worse problems to have. <coughs> but this, this island is like the main party island so it's a bit busier. Tom. <laughs> Just turn it round to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Thomas. Yeah. When we first booked, realised that our. Oh, I've said that. I know. No. When we first realised that our accommodation was booked on the wrong island, right. what was your initial reaction? <laughs> uh, my initial reaction was. Go on, act it out. What did you do? I don't want to swear, but I was like, oh. No. We're going to have to party every night. No. What was it then? You had a tantrum. No, I didn't have, ta I didn't have a tantrum. Right. Um, what, are you, what, are you, what are you filming right now? <laughs> if you're going to be my videographer, you have to learn how to film properly. <laughs> Mood. Crying. Stroppy. No, no. Don't make oh, me look is, like a stroppy... This looks like we're walking on glass. Don't make me look like a stroppy teenager. You are though. Go, Emma. Remember, you've got your wallet in that tote bag. Oh, 
It's not that deep then. It's actually nice water as well. Oh, go it under it. Got to go over it. Probably not the safest bridge I've ever seen. But it's either that or wade through. Do we both go? He doesn't look too sure either. Got to go over it. Frick it out. Good bloody air. Time to head back to what's our beach called? Cow Tok or yeah. something Tok. And this is Long Beach, 4K Beach, as in like four kilometres. All right, we stopped off for another swim, and one of the the characteristics of one of the characteristics of these shorelines is that they're full of plankton swimming everywhere and we still don't 100% know what plankton is but I don't know if the, the camera will be able to pick it up Emma will catch one for you <laughs> they're like jelly yeah and they're in there but they're not like swimming in there they're not can anyone tell us what plankton is oh. so apparently in the evenings you can come down to the beaches and they all light up blue. Or they just light up. Or they all just light up. Again, not really sure why or how. We're just trying to figure out how to uh, activate. Activate, <laughs> activate the plankton. Emma seems to think that if you kick the water around you, then they, they switch on. But I somehow think it's not as simple as that. So it turns out we won't be able to see the plankton this evening because the moon is so strong and so full. So it provides too much light. The plankton require complete darkness for you to see them. The lady at the restaurant said maybe in two days. So I've stopped off at a restaurant along the beach to have some supper. Good morning from a random beach resort that we've just walked up to. It's called Korong Hill Beach Resort. What time is it? Half past twelve. Half past twelve. We've already been for breakfast and it's going to be a beach day because that's what you do on an island. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous evening. It's probably about five o'clock and Emma and I have spent the whole day chilling at that beach club over there. I think it's called Long Set Beach Club. We're just having some drinks. I've got myself an espresso martini and Emma has a in a colada, I think. And we're just going to watch the sunset here. What do people think of the old Movember? Oh wait, hang How's on, we've going? got a little... Yeah. Looking very dodgy. We need to get rid of these bits. I don't know what they are. <laughs> They're the handlebars. <laughs> they look awful. <laughs> no, they, <don't. laughs> they look absolutely hideous. They look like a proper mustache. Look how pretty. Good morning, it's island hopping day and we're just getting packed before we head over to Koh Rong San Loam in just under 40 minutes. Right, 
we just about made it. We survived. Uh, Emma barely. Always. <laughs> what we thought was going to be about a 20 minute uh, boat journey turned into about an hour and a half. And it's fair to say the seas were quite choppy. There were there were times where we <laughs> essentially went vertically. Oh. Emma nearly threw up. I think that's when you have an easy end of the you know when you're hungry but you're still a bit sick anyway. Hungry. We've discovered a new fear. No, I'm Emma's. scared of it. I just scared of being sick. But yeah, we've we've made it to Koh Rong San Lom. Yeah, so the boat goes from the main port in Koh Rong to goes to M Pai Bay first, which we thought was up where we were getting off, but then it's another another half an hour to Saracen Bay, which is where we're staying. But we made it. And we're gonna have some breakfast. bungalow staying at a place called the orchid resort which is like in the middle of saracen bay and this is our room concrete walls our slightly more luxurious bung well it's not bungalow is it uh, yeah, hut bungalow kind of thing this is the most we've paid for somewhere true this is £30 pounds a night. 15 each. 15 each. We're staying here for two nights. But on this island, there's not that much. There's either a literal tent or a resort. Yeah. And that's it. So you're either paying £5 pounds a night. Or £100 pounds a night. Yeah. Or not. Bathroom. We've got a wardrobe. Got some flowers. Oh, we've got a, uh, an extra duvet if we get cold. Alrighty, we have wandered inland in search for a beach called Lazy Beach. And because it's so windy, that side of the island, we're thinking that the opposite side should be quite sheltered. If we don't come out with dengue, be very surprised. No mozzie stuff on. No malaria tablets. No malaria tablets. Roughing it. We found it. The sand is very hot. A little restaurant. Oh. Found a spot for some lunch.
we've decided to head back before sunset because we didn't fancy our chances walking back this way in the dark. And whilst we're walking, shall we give our thoughts on Koh Rong? We only saw into a bit of it, we didn't see all of it. We no. the main bit. The Koh Touch beach. Beach there, no. You didn't like it? Well, not the, not the beach. You wouldn't like lie on the beach there, would you? You would walk through the trees and go to the long set, long beach, whatever it's called. Yeah. But there are a couple of nice bars yeah, yeah, yeah. on that main beach, which we did sit at once or twice. I like it there. We didn't get to try the other beaches on the other side of the island because there once was a walking route, but apparently in the wet season that's just gone, it became really overgrown, so you can't walk through there now. So the only way to get there is by boat, taxi boat, which is like $50 or something ridiculous. No, it wasn't 50, it was 25 50. each? No. One, one guy said like $50. I think he said 15 each. Each mm. way. I remember being surprised at 50. He said 60, but all the others were like, it's like at least 15 each, each way. So like 30 each. So 60 all together. <coughs> right. Back. So 30 each, there and back. $30 each. Or a moped. You can either rent one and do it yourself, but the roads we were told are quite tricky to navigate. Or you get someone to take you on a moped. I imagine they would be Which like we didn't do. The roads, which aren't the easiest. Having accidentally booked it, it wasn't too bad. No, Thoughts on Co Roll. Thoughts on the moustache. Thoughts on the moustache. I think it's pretty cool. Your hair to make you look a bit better. Well, I think that was a cool vibe. No. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like glass. morning from day two here at Orchid Resort. How did you sleep? Pretty well. Yeah? This place is actually a lot um, better than I thought it would be because the reviews are very bad. Not very bad. Not great. Why is it a lot better? Well, when we picked our room, the picture was of a wooden shack, similar to what we stayed in last time, like the yeah. inside. But then we got here and we have concrete walls. So we're not sure whether we got upgraded or whether they've just updated all of the rooms. Mm, yeah. One piece of free carry-on bag is per person, seven, seven kilos, each piece cannot exceed the backpack required. I guess I just need to check if we need to check in or something. Okay, flights booked to Siem Reap. After a long discussion, we decided that we didn't want to do the nearly 24 hour journey. Oh. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't want to do the long journey from Snookville to Phnom Penh because you have to pass through Phnom Penh if you want to go further north. And it was like a six hour wait in Phnom Penh to then get a really late night bus, kind of like nine o'clock in the evening to get to either Battambang or Siem Reap in the early hours of the morning. So instead, we've gone for a flight from Sanukville at uh, 20 past one on Monday. So today's Friday, I think. Uh, and then we get into Siem Reap at half two. And then from Siem Reap, we can either go to Battambang or to the Lake Tonnesap, where there's a floating village. Emma is such a child. So yeah, it was, it was like 30 pounds more expensive each, but it's a just over an hour flight compared to what would be nearly 24 hours of travel, which we didn't fancy. Okay, come on. Hello. Do you want a picture? All right, check in again. We've had an extremely productive morning. <laughs> Booked our flights. Booked the ferry. Booked the ferry. Booked an extra night. And booked an extra night at our hotel. Anything else? Strokes and puppies. Strokes and puppies. Um, got some oh. goggles. Got some goggles. 
And now, yeah, we're going back to the beach that we were chilling at yesterday because even though it's described as the nicest beach on the island, Saracen Bay, Yeah, there's not actually that much beach. There are places in every hotel, kind of like private spaces you can chill at, but... And the, the water itself isn't too nice. Unless the, all that wind brought in so much stuff. Yeah, it was very windy yesterday, so... There's lots of rubbish on the beach, and the water is quite murky. But it's only a 20, 25 minute walk to the lazy beach. So we're doing that walk now. The jungle and we saw some monkeys yesterday. Yeah. So we'll be on the lookout for some more monkeys. So wet. Mm. Bit of post lunch table tennis action. We'll try and find somewhere to prop you up. Bear in mind that we're playing with shoddy balls. And action. 
don't crumble as soon as the, the camera comes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Sabaidi. <laughs> What's Cambodia? Hello. Susa Day. Susa Day. What do you have to say? We're leaving early tomorrow morning at 6.45 for the ferry. So we're saying goodbye. And we hope you've enjoyed the video as always. Yeah, we're just packing. Try to capture what island life is like, especially with today's montage of B-roll. <laughs> Any tips, pointers? Bird. Mm, I like both islands. This one is more chilled. Mm -hmm. So I think I quite liked it more. And I liked what we're staying on Saracen Bay. Saracen Bay, which we've probably said this. We thought this was going to be a really nice beach that we could stay on like, all day, but the tide comes in quite far and there's not actually quite high up the it's beach. not actually a very nice place to like sunbathe. Mm. It's nice in the evenings for dinner. So we walked to Lazy Beach and I like that. It was like through the trees and saw monkeys and stuff. It was cool. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed it. Coolio. I recommend. Thank you for watching. Bye. And we'll see you in the next vid where we'll be flying over to Siem Reap. Thank you.